Hello everyone and welcome to Uppercase Academics. Here we'll dive into the fascinating world of CSIM marketing. We'll focus on, uh, for this case, is the mobile phones. And if you are ready to take the charge of a global mobile device marketing company, you are in the right channel. And if you are new into this channel, kindly. Now, let's jump into the market outlook because uh, this is a very important step before crafting our decisions. Here we'll find information about the operating environment and it's very important to read it before you start making decisions for each round. Here we are operating, you can see that you operate in Europe market and Asia and the product is a mobile device. Here we have a market size for each of the different segments and it also ensures that you have to take into account the sales, the economics, the operation, the product, the market, the competition and the industry trends. So without wasting much of your time, let's go into the product decisions. Now, this is the this is uh, the exciting part because uh, this is where you start by making your product decisions, and you can see that so our team has a maximum of six product slots. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and for this team, we decided to make use of four slots and you have to choose wisely because you it will be of no use if you have uh, more than two identical products in the same market or the, the, the products are identical and in the same market. So you just have uh, been competing uh, between yourself or you will be the one who will be competing between yourself. Now, the first thing is uh, we'll start by designing our product. So we we'll start with uh, giving it a product name and I already give, gave it a product name. Then uh, the next thing is uh, the market selection whereby I want to sell my product. And for this case, I decided that I'll sell it in the Europe market, not in the Asia, but for this product, I'll sell it in the Europe market. Now, I wanted to upgrade my product so I chose uh, to have a new product. The next thing is uh, the features. Here we see that uh, there are five different features to be included and they are, we have the premium camera, extra memory, premium display, water resistance and uh, security. And uh, these are the building blocks of your mobile phones and you have to select uh, wisely to create a winning product lineup. Next, we have the capabilities, and uh, the first one is the we can say that uh, the performance, which you see that it just shows the level of uh, the performance of your current set of product. Then the next one is uh, the battery life, and you should know that for these uh, two values, the higher the value, the, the the better the product, because if you have a, a very high value, you, you, it means that you have a very better product. Now, the next is uh, the compactness level or uh, I can say the capability uh, level. And you should note that you should balance these uh, features because uh, they'll uh, directly impact your unit cost and consequently your profit margins. Now, here we can, uh, because I want to make decisions, I'll come here and uh, give it a uh, 7. Then also here I'll come and give it uh, 87. For my second product, which is uh, classic, I'll give it. Uh, so I'll give it uh, 77. Then also I'll give it uh, here. I'll come and give it 87. And it, it will sell both in Asia and uh, Europe. Then also for product three, I want to sell it in both Asia and Europe. So I'll click into the Asia market and Europe market. Then I'll give it a performance of, I'll top it up to 90. Then also my battery life, I'll top it up to 90. Then the next one is uh, product five, which is uh, also classic. I'll only sell it in Asia. So I'll give it uh, 107 and uh, a battery life of 90. So that's my decisions for 
that's my decisions for this uh, product. Now, next we have uh, the positioning map, and you see that these are uh, the position map are just a visualization of the positions of the products in in the market, and you should use the product positioning tool to compare your offerings with your competitors and should understand where you stand and make informed adjustments to stay competitive. The products page include a product positioning and you can see it. So you can either switch between uh, Europe and Asia and uh, you can see and you can also compare it to the competing teams. Now, by clicking, uh, by clicking the dots on the map, so let's say by clicking these dots like that, you can see more detailed information of the selected product in the middle of the screen. So you can see that uh, these are the products in the middle. So if I select, you can see it then just a detailed explanation in this far end. Now the next we will go into the markets page. Now let's talk about the markets. We see that. Uh, here we have two markets, we have uh, Europe and Asia, and the price decisions are uh, very important and they ensure that uh, you, the, while you are meeting the demand, you also make some profits. Then we have the customer segments. Now, for this case, which is uh, my first product is Oak, I'll give it uh, a pricing of uh, 300. Then self sales forecast because uh, I want to make a approximation or to forecast the number of units that uh, I'll be able to sell. So for this case, I'll uh, let's say I'll sell. Uh, I'll put here a hundred. Here I'll come and put on twenty. Here I'll come and say, because I want to save on my expenses, my advertising will be 100 because advertising will increase my awareness. Here I'll put 100. Then here I'll come and say 50. Then my advertising, I'll say 1,000. Sorry, it's 1,000, not 100. Here is 1,000. Then my forecast, I'll give it uh, 90 because I'm projecting that I'll be making. Uh, Sales growth. My next product, I'll come and say that, uh, which is product two, I'll give it a uh, pricing of 315. Then, in terms of uh, sales forecast, I'll give you here 70. Then, here I'll come and say 60. My advertising, I'll drop it to a thousand. Also, my advertising, I'll drop it to a thousand because I have to make a margin. I want to save on uh, the profits. So, for in the company segment, I'll come. I'll say uh, for this one, I'll give it uh, thirty. So I'll say forty. So let me say forty. Sorry. So I'll say forty. For this one, I'll come and say 55. Then in terms of advertising, I'll take it back to a thousand, sorry. Then here I'll come and take it to a thousand. The next one is uh, product three. With product three, I'll give it uh, a, a pricing of 360. Then here I'll come and give it uh, 40. Then here also I'll give it uh, 40. With the uh, advertising of a thousand, so I'll just uh, give it, give them a flat advertising of a thousand. For this case here, I'll give it, uh, so let me say 20. Here I'll give it uh, 50. Not forgetting about uh, advertising. So also here I'll give it a thousand. 
The next bit is uh, in the Asian market. So I was making decisions for the Europe market. So this next one is for the Asian market. Here, my first product, I'll give it a pricing of 315. Now in terms of forecasting, I'll come and say that uh, for this one, I'll, I'll because uh, last time I had uh, 72. So for this case, I can increase more than uh, 10. So I'll say 82. Here I'll say 70. Then my advertising, I'll take it back to 1,000. Then uh, in terms of uh, the companies, I'll project 50. Here I'll project uh, 60. Or maybe, let me say 60, 66. Then here I'll say 1,000 also. Then I'll take this back to 1,000. So I'm now making decisions in my market. Then for product 3, I'll give it a... Uh, a pricing of 360 this uh, this side then uh, this other side i'll give it 30. so my sales i'll say here is 50. then a thousand i'll uh, my advertising i'll leave them to a thousand also also for this case for this case here i'll say 30. then uh, okay let me say 35. Then here I'll come and say I can sell uh, 70, 70, 79. Then here is 1000. Then for product 5, here I'll give, uh, I'll give it uh, 330. Then my households, I'll forecast to sell. Uh, so this one I can sell 50 because I've decided to reduce my price. So I'm projecting that my sales will increase. So here I'll give it 70. Here I'll give it uh, 40. And uh, here I'll give it, uh, let me say 90. Then in terms of advertising, I'll take them to 1000 also. So 1000. So advertising will just increase your awareness. and. Uh, the next thing is uh, channel investments and uh, the channel investments will just increase also your awareness. So I'll take it back to a thousand. Now for this other one is uh, we have the investments in uh, channels and they are located between uh, three available distribution channels for every product. Now the channels are uh, we have the specialists, then you have the generalists, then the online. So for this case, I'll invest a thousand in all all the three. The next step is uh, customer care. You should note that uh, the customer care is you ensure that the customer satisfaction post purchase is very important. And here we can we 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 normally call them the after sale services. Now with the after sale services, you have the we can say we have the warranty and uh, you should note that warranty has a positive impact on demand but the results but uh, result in higher costs now the warranty here we have is between 6 months and 5 years but we decided to go for 2 years which is uh, 24 months then the next one is the investment in repair and investment in repair quality affects positively the demand for repairs and uh, it also has uh, some impact on the demand of the product. Now, with us, we gave it uh, 700. Then the next one is uh, pricing on repairs. And you should know that all repairs are outsourced and uh, the pricing in repairs is decided as a margin because uh, you can have it as uh, how much is charged on top of the price uh, that is paid to the third to the third party sorry and uh, the third parties are the ones that will conduct the repairs so for this case i decided i'll stick to 35 then here i'll come and say 120 because this is the self forecast or uh, 
Then for this one, I'll come and stick to 30 also. And the cell forecast, I can say, is 99. Then the next one is uh, the R&D. And you should note that uh, investing in the future is very important. And in this case, I'll invest 8,000 for the performance of this one. Then 8,000 also for the performance of this other one. The next thing is uh, you check on the decision checklist to see what uh, are your projected uh, outcomes. And we see that for this case, I'm, I'm projecting to have uh, a profit of uh, 84. So this is around uh, 84, 249. Then my change in sales will be that 4.2%. So it will have a, a positive impact. Then I can check on my projections to see in Europe, uh, what are my projections? In Asia, what are my projections? And in total, what are my projections? Also, we have uh, the balance sheet. You can also check the ratios. We have uh, the segments, the households, the and you just have to switch between uh, the tabs, the companies, and the high end companies. And uh, there you have it. And it's a uh, of Sesi marketing for this case is the mobile case. Now, focusing on the mobile case, you should uh, remember that success lies in the strategic blend of innovation, customer understanding, and market responsiveness. That's it for today, guys. And if you are enjoying this overview, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting insights. Have a nice time.